2005. At the last board meeting, I also raised concerns about the fact that Ms. Shanley had misrepresented herself as a doctor in the yearbook for five years. Ms. Shanley did not deny this misrepresentation. Instead, she blamed Rowan University for not awarding her with a doctorate and accused Rowan of libel and a lack of ethics. That makes no sense. Ms. Shanley claimed to, that she abandoned her doctoral program in Florida because she moved to New Jersey. According to her resume, she was still enrolled in the Florida program three years after she moved to New Jersey for a total of five years. In 2008, she enrolled in the Ro Rowan doctoral program with Dr. Alvik and Dr. Roselle, but they graduated in 2011, the year that the middle school opened, and yet Ms. Shanley remained in this program for another 10 years. Publicly available records show that Ms. Shanley's name appears on Rowan's commencement programs for the springs of 2013, 2014, 2015, 2018, 2019, and 2021, and yet in each of these years, she fails to graduate. At the last meeting, she claimed that Rowan did not quote unquote approve of her dissertation topic. If that's the case, why did she fail to resolve this issue over the past 14 years, and how much money has Monroe already reimbursed her for her doctoral education? I attempted to find out this information in an Oprah request, but my request was denied. Last month, Ms. Shanley's office seized control over the Oprah pro process. Uh, previously, it was controlled by our business office. Ms. Shan Shanley's re current resume lists an anticipated graduation date of December 2021, but as of February 2022, Ms. Shanley has still not graduated. She claimed that she was working towards a doctorate, but when I checked with Rowan University, they informed me that she has not been enrolled in their program at all in 2022. In 2018, Ms. Shanley enrolled in a doctoral program at Liberty University, which was founded by Jerry Falwell, while she was still enrolled at Rowan, but failed to get a doctorate at Liberty University too. Over the past 20 years, Ms. Shanley has attempted to get a doctorate from three different universities and failed every time. In other, in other places, people get disciplined or fired for this level of dishonesty, but here in Monroe, they get promoted and rewarded with a lucrative contract with no end date. How can we tell our children it's long to, to lie on their college applications when we allow this to happen? Ms. Shanley's resume also shows that she is not certificated to teach K through 12 students in the state of New Jersey. She cannot effectively oversee our K to 12 teachers in Monroe because she lacks their New Jersey teaching credentials. Furthermore, again, Ms. Shanley has a conflict of interest because her husband is part of the teachers union when as acting superintendent, she's head of the negotiating unit. For many reasons, she was a poor choice for acting superintendent. Given that so much dishonesty has already been uncovered at this point, it should not be a question of whether she should be allowed to continue in this position, but whether she should be allowed to continue in her employment in any capacity. The tone of every organization is set at the top, and it's important to have a leader whose record reflects academic, achievement, professional accomplishment, and integrity. In the, the, the previous speaker also had concerns about her honesty, and when Ms. Shanley was confronted, she left the room. She's not in the room, and uh, you know we also need leaders that have the courage to accept criticism, that can, um, you know, that can acknowledge their mistakes, and they can apologize for their mistakes and amend their conduct. We don't expect uh, our district employees to be perfect. Um, everybody makes mistakes. Uh, but it's important to acknowledge them, uh, apologize, and make amends. And I hope that we find a leader that has that kind of courage, integrity, and record of accomplishment.